It launched in May 2021 from Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand. The running out of toes mission was Rocket Lab's 20th electron launch overall and the second of three planned ocean splashdown recovery missions. The mission was scheduled to deploy two Earth observation satellites for Black Sky's global monitoring constellation, but Electron experienced an anomaly shortly before Stage 2 ignition, resulting in the loss of the mission. Welcome back to our channel. This is Cosmic Era. The May 15 anomaly occurred after 17 successful orbital flights of the Electron launch vehicle, which has deployed more than 100 satellites to orbit since 2018. Immediately following the anomaly, Rocket Lab launched a rigorous internal review assembling its investigation team with oversight by the Federal Aviation Administration FAA. The investigation team scarred thousands of channels of telemetry and systems data from the flight and worked systematically through an extensive fault tree analysis to determine the cause of the failure. The review concluded that an issue occurred within the second stage engine emitter system almost 3 minutes and 20 seconds into the flight. This induced a corruption of signals within the engine computer that caused the Rutherford engine's thrust vector control TVC, to deviate outside nominal parameters and resulted in the engine computer commanding zero pump speed, shutting down the engine. The Avener fault resulted from a previously undetectable failure mode within the ignition system that occurs under a unique set of environmental pressures and conditions. The issue was not evident during extensive pre-flight testing for this mission, including more than 400 seconds of burn for this particular engine, more than 1,500 Rutherford engine hot fires to date, and 17 successful orbital launches. Rocket Lab has since been able to reliably replicate the issue in testing and has implemented redundancies in the ignition system to prevent any future reoccurrence, including modifications to the emitter's design and manufacture. Moreover, this launch was Rocket Lab's second attempt to safely return Electron's first stage to Earth from space. Despite the anomaly with the upper stage, Rocket Lab was able to proceed with recovery steps. The first stage safely landed in the ocean under the Parachute and Rocket Lab's recovery team retrieved it from the water and returned it to the production complex. After inspection of the booster, the company mentioned that the engines were in good condition and will be further analyzed in engine hot fire tests. This recovery mission was also a debut flight for a redesigned stainless steel heat shield on the first stage. According to the company, it seemed to perform well and protected stage one from the enormous heat loads and forces during re-entry. The main mission of Running Out of Toes was supposed to be a dedicated mission to lift 260 kg microsatellites for Black Sky's global constellation. This was not the first time that Rocket Lab provided launch services for Black Sky. Three of the Earth observation satellites had already been successfully deployed by Electron across 2019 and earlier this year on the rideshare mission that go up so fast. Seattle-based Spaceflight Incorporated was responsible for arranging the launch as well as for the mission management and integration services for Black Sky. Recovery Mission Profile Fortunately, the anomaly with the upper stage did not have an impact on the recovery of Electron's first stage. This mission's retrieval process went as follows. After successful Stage 1 separation, the reaction control system reoriented the booster 180 degrees for re-entry. This orientation as well as the heat shield helped the vehicle withstand temperatures up to 2,400 degrees Celsius as it was re-entering Earth's atmosphere hypersonic speeds tilled eight times the speed of sound. After decelerating to supersonic speeds less than max 2, Electron deployed a drow parachute that stabilized the stage and continued slowing it down. Then the main parachute came into play to increase drag even further and make a soft landing in the ocean possible. Their Rocket Lab's recovery crew fished Electron out of the water using a new retrieval method, the Ocean Recovery Capture Apparatus, Orcha. The recovered stage was then returned to the production complex for inspection. Second recovery attempt. For this launch, Rocket Lab had another important goal, recovering the first stage after its short suborbital trip to space. This mission was the second attempt in the history of the company to safely bring the launch vehicle back home. Rocket Lab first attempted a soft splashdown last November. As a result, return to sender's mission provided crucial data on the actual stresses that Electron's booster was experiencing during re-entry. With this information in hand, Rocket Lab upgraded the vehicle with a beefed-up heat shield to protect it from enormous heat pressure during its descent. It is achieved by directing the force of plasma away from the first stage. The improved stainless steel heat shield can deal with thermal loads much more efficiently as compared to the previous version made of aluminum. Long Beach-based Rocket Lab USA Incorporated discovered the cause of the anomaly that led to the failure of its May 15 mission, running out of toes. 
The problem was caused by a corruption in the emitter, which triggered a previously undetectable failure mode that is only set off by a unique set of environmental conditions, the company announced on July 19. The failure occurred around three minutes into the launch from Rocket Lab's facility on New Zealand's Mahia Peninsula, when the rocket's stage two engine shut down mid-flight. The company said that corrective measures have been taken to increase the reliability of its launch vehicle, the Electron rocket, and it will return to its launch schedule for the second half of 2021. Rocket Lab's next mission will take place by the end of July, with a set date to be announced in the coming days, the company said. Rocket Lab has a busy manifest of Electron launches for the remainder of the year. Working toward a monthly launch cadence from Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand, a Rocket Lab representative said. A similar failure occurred in the company's July 2020 launch when its second stage engine shut down due to a faulty electrical connection. The company was approved by the Federal Aviation Administration to resume flights on June 7 and decided to hold off on scheduling future launches until its internal review was complete. Despite the shutdown of its second stage, the company said the first stage of the Electron rocket performed flawlessly during the mission. As a result, the company will reuse the first stage, which was retrieved following the May 15 mission. Rocket Lab's Electron rocket has completed 17 successful launches and sent 104 satellites to orbit since 2017. The company claims to have the fourth most frequently launched rocket in the world. Conclusion The investigation, which was overseen by the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, officially wrapped up on July 19 with Rocket Lab announcing that they had identified the root cause of the anomaly on Electron's 20th flight, also known as running out of toes, as an issue which occurred with Electron's second stage emitter around 3 minutes and 20 seconds into the flight. Due to this issue with the igniter, the computer controlling the single vacuum optimized Rutherford engine powering Electron's second stage became corrupted, causing the stage's thrust vector control to deviate from where it was supposed to be. With the engine demolishing outside of limits, the computer commanded the engine to shut down, resulting in loss of the mission. It was concluded that the igniter issue was caused by a previously undiscovered failure mode within the ignition system that occurred during specific environmental conditions not previously met during any operational flights or testing of Electron and its components. The company has stated that they have now corrected the failure mode and replicated the conditions experienced by Electron during the failure, allowing the Electron team to implement redundancies to avoid repeating the issue. Following the conclusion of the investigation on July 19, the FAA confirmed they were satisfied with the outcome of the investigation and settled that Rocket Lab's launch license remained active, clearing the way for Electron's 21st flight.